woman with the issue of blood, my Lord, she'd spent all that she had. She had been to all of the, of the, the uh, places where medicine is practiced. She was now leaving all her money spent. She was dejected. It just didn't look like anything was going to work for her. And all of a sudden she looks and she sees Jesus. And the Bible says she said within herself. No angel came and spoke to her. No, uh, no uh, prophet came and spoke to her. She said within herself, tonight you can say within yourself. She looks and she sees that hem of that garment, but she's unclean. She's not allowed among people. She has to stand on the outside. Many times we find, and I have myself, found myself on the outside, the whole world thinking I was unclean. But there's one that didn't think I was unclean. His name is Jesus. And this woman comes, and as she sees that hem of the garment, she says, if I touch it, if I touch it, I'll be made whole. If I just get out there and make relationship with him. And she starts through the crowd, and they see the blood, and they're kicking her and saying, unclean, get out of the way. But she presses through, and when she touches the hem of that garment, she comes forth clean, clean. Oh, her ship sailed. She went home that day with great joy and rejoicing. Think about the man, the blind man. As he was there in the city, here comes Jesus. And he says, I want to make you whole. He said, look, I just want to put, I want to put this grit mud in your eyes. No, 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 no. No, that'll be uncomfortable. Sometimes it's uncomfortable to come into God's best. Oh, my Lord. A blind man tapping along, couldn't see. He says, yes, yes, Lord, go ahead. And that day, he didn't tap on. He went home looking at birds. He went home looking at trees. He went home seeing the, he he saw the wonders that God had in this planet. He saw the faces of his loved one. He looked in the face of his mother. He took a chance. He said, yes, God, put the mud in my eyes. The torment, put the mud in my eyes. And now he sees the blind man's ship sailed. Go a little bit further with me. We come now to a man named Simon Peter. Simon Peter, my goodness, in Luke the fifth chapter, in the King James, I'll just read to you from the third verse. And he entered into Simon Peter's ship, which was uh, in in the sea there, and prayed him that he would thrust out a little thrust out a little ways uh, from the land. And he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Fourth verse. Now, when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets uh, for a great droth. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, we have toiled all night. So many of us, have moved towards God and thought, and the devil came and cut it off. We've toiled all night. Brother John, they've, we've toiled all night. Nothing has happened. Please hear me. As long as we go along the side trying to catch the minnows, we're going to live the life of one that eats minnows and little crabs and little uh, crustaceans that are in the shallow water. But Jesus says, Simon, get on the other side of the boat. Launch into the deep. Launch into the deep. And as he launches into the deep, a great droth of fish comes. Fish so much that the nets began to break. 